Hi everybody, this is Janet Wright and this is a really cool technique video um, that you can use to heal yourself but also um, heal people that you know and it's pretty I mean, I'm gonna say groundbreaking, but not in a way like, oh, I'm so great, Janet Wright. You know, it's, I'm grateful that the angels are teaching me this stuff so that I can teach you guys. And I can see sort of the progression of, you know, throughout the years. And I can understand too, why the angels sort of held off teaching this um, to me. Because a lot of people, um, you know, they're givers, they're over givers actually. And this is their first impulse. Oh, I'm going to heal everybody I know, or, oh, so-and-so's mad at me. I should fix that, you know? And I think, you know, most of my work up until now, uh, is about teaching people how to heal themselves, you know, and being safe and healing punishment, you know, that you get so that you don't have to have everybody in the world happy with you. Because that's not possible. When you follow your own path and you are true to yourself, it triggers people. And you're, you're mastering your fears. And a lot of people, they don't feel like living the kind of life that's going to support those choices, right? So they, you know, they make fear-based choices. They, they don't have, they don't try to have the level of self-care that you might have. And so you're going to trigger people and actually piss people off in life. Um, you know, and, and that's hard for like overgiver people pleasers to wrap their brain around. Um, uh, but it's true. <laughs> so, uh, but you know, it's really okay. But anyway, so the groundbreaking aspect of this video is that this is something that you can do even especially for the people that pretty much hate you <laughs> or the people that, you know, maybe they're genetic family members and you're just really triggering them. Like everything about you just rubs them the wrong way. You know, maybe you're not following the family rules. Maybe you've just gone your own way, gone your own way and you're not even in communication with them now for years and years and years but they keep throwing energy at you every, every day. Like, you know it, you can just feel it. So the idea with this is, um, and I'll, I'll go over this more in the intro video. So if you like this kind of discussion idea, um, listen to the intro for, for this video, um, that there's a special intro video, um, that I'm releasing at the same time. But anyway, so, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to heal yourself first in two ways. Um, it's, it's basically dual flower healing <laughs> dual, uh, it just means two different kinds of flower healing. And you can do that on yourself first, and then you're going to do it for somebody else. And I'll explain, uh, the way you do it for somebody else. Everyone has their own aura, right? And so the aura is the energy field around you, right? Or around somebody else. Right? So say I have, um, I don't thankfully right now, but say I had a neighbor who didn't like me, right? And they really didn't like me, this neighbor, right? So, um, that neighbor has an aura, right? So if I want to give that neighbor a healing present, even one that my angels double checked and the angels think is very appropriate, I would not put it in that person's aura because that's invasive. That's potentially controlling because if they resist it and they probably re would resist it because they don't like me, then then it could stay in there for a very long time, even lifetimes, and, and not help them at all, just actually block them up, even though I have the best intentions and the angels double-checked it. So you don't want to, basically you're forcing someone to take it on if you place it in their aura. So you always want to be very careful that, um, you know, and that's the interesting thing, because I don't think like marketing teaches any of that. You know, marketing is like, oh, just put forward your idea. Da, da, da. But karmically, that's not good. You want to make sure that um, if you offer somebody something, even if it is the lightest, most angel double checked thing, that it's outside of their aura. So then they can choose, they have free will and they can choose how and when to receive it and how much to receive it. It's like, you know, you pick up a flower that you see, you know, on the ground 10 feet away from you. You choose to pick it up versus if someone just dumps it in your lap, then you're like, you know, you're, you have, you're forced to deal with it. Okay. So, um, 
that's part of how this is so clean and you can use these techniques on even people that you know you might consider your enemies or your you know your uh people that you really don't get along with or they hate you or whatever you know um we're gonna you know it's gonna be super safe and respectful because you a you're gonna have your angels double check what you're offering um and they do edit it which is kind of interesting and then you know you're gonna place it at a distance in front of that person's aura and that's just with your imagination you imagine the person and you imagine the edge of their aura and then you go out like about 10 feet in front of that and just place the energy flowers down and you kind of say their name as you place them down and so they'll notice it and then they can take their time or not receive it at all it's that's not your problem you know but these gifts will be so tuned to what they need that even if they hate you the likelihood is that they will receive the gift you know they will choose of their own free will to receive this gift so it's pretty interesting but um don't worry we're gonna practice on people that you get along with first um in the video we're gonna do what we did in the healing which is um uh, we're gonna work with one two three four to five people because at first we're gonna do someone you definitely get along with and then we're gonna do a person or a couple you know because when you're adult sometimes you're friends with you know the husband and wife you know um and so we're gonna do there's an example like that we'll do and then we'll do you know two different examples of people that you really don't get along with because it's actually the same process but it's more triggering you know if you're giving something to somebody or offering something to somebody that you don't get along with you know we want to work up to that so we'll do someone that you totally super get along with first um or that's what i suggest um you can you can use the walkthrough however you want um so the uh the two different flower presents that we're gonna make um let's do it for yourself first that's how that's how you can learn it okay so uh the one it's it's really nice and it already exists as a video um you're using flower healing to fill your inner emptiness and that is what the title of the video is. It has flower healing in the title and then fill your inner emptiness. It's a really, I highly recommend uh, this technique. So anyway, let's do it. Um, so uh, flower healing is you just create with your mind. I like doing my hands as well, you know, but it's totally unnecessary. If I were cooking and I couldn't use my hands, I would just make them out in front of me with my, with my imagination. But um, anyway, you're gonna make flower healing flowers out of universal gold light and rainbow color energy. So you don't have to worry, but just with your intention, it's not your energy for this whole video. It's not your energy, it's just universal healing energy that you're making this stuff out of. And just whatever vibrations of universal healing energy will help fill your inner emptiness, right? Because the first batch is just for you. So energy flowers that are at the right vibration for you to fill your inner emptiness. And we're just going to put these to one side. Okay. Don't give them to yourself yet because we'll do two at once. It's more efficient. Okay. And then energy flowers that will help you be at non-resistance. Okay. So these may be a lot of gold color. They may be also some rainbow colors mixed in. You don't have to think about it or see it or worry about it. So energy flowers of universal healing energy that are going to help you be at non-resistance and just make those out in front of you. Okay. So you have your fill inner emptiness flowers and your non-resistance flowers. I just say, angels, can you double check these flowers that are for me? And your angels will, you know, maybe make little changes to them. And then you can go ahead and give yourself those two different types of flowers. And they just go wherever they're needed. And if you're not grounded, um, let's do that just real quick. Um, so just make a make a big grounding as wide as your whole aura, uh, red or orange or yellow. Make it as make it as high as your third chakra, which is right here. So make your grounding go up this high, all the way around you like a waterfall that's red or orange or yellow, all the way down to the core of the earth, okay? And um, yeah, let's just do an earth energy soak. So bring that color 
of earth energy up and soak in it. Uh, your whole aura, your body, everything. So I picked yellow. So I'm gonna, and you could pick red or orange or yellow. So I'm gonna bring up yellow earth energy. Just you use your grounding like a straw and you bring up the earth energy, that color, and just soak in it all the way up, 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 up. Soak your aura, your body, your chakras, everything. All right, great. So you gave yourself the fill your inner emptiness flowers and the non-resistance flowers, and then now you're doing an earth energy soak, which is very nice. Okay, so now we're gonna do this for somebody else. And again, we're gonna do it nice and respectfully. And your angels are gonna double check it first, so it'll be respectful and safe and clean and all those good things. So just think of somebody that you generally think very positively about. Okay, someone you're close to, because we want to start with the, just the lightest, easiest example. Okay, so just think of that person, but stay here. Okay, and you kind of imagine that person at a distance to you, right? And that's good, um, particularly when you're healing somebody, you don't want to imagine them like right here, because you don't want to be that close to them. You want to give them breathing room and you have your breathing room, you know. So you just imagine that person, you know, maybe like, you know, whatever, like at a distance spiritually from you, right? And then you imagine where their aura is and then, you know, that space five or 10 feet in front of them and that's where you're gonna put the flowers, okay? But first let's make them and have your angels check them, okay? So uh, you've already picked the person, which is important because you're gonna customize these flowers for that person. Um, which is kind of cool and you can just you just do that with your intention Okay, and everybody can do that even a newbie So first we're gonna make the fill your inner emptiness flowers, right? So universal healing energy of rainbow colors or gold light um, Don't don't worry about it. Whatever just make it with your mind, but uh, fill your inner emptiness flowers for that person custom for that person so it'll help that person fill their inner emptiness and put those to one side. And then non-resistance flowers, energy flowers of universal healing energy, so it's not your energy, that will help that person be non-resistant. And then just say, angels, can you please double check these flowers? Because these flowers are for, you know, and tell your angels who these flowers are for. <sighs> and so your angels will double check those flowers. Technically, you're putting those flowers in front of you, not in your aura. So they're in front of you. As your angels review them. So your angels may actually reduce the quantity of flowers that you're making. And go ahead, let your angels do that. If, if you notice that or imagine that, you're not making it up. That really can happen. And that is often just because you know the angels know how much is like a gentle amount for that person to receive you know if you meditate a lot you could receive a lot more healing energy at once and it would be perfectly gentle uh, but it's just custom for different people so your angels have double checked the flowers so now just scoop up the flowers with your hands um and just place them at that spot that you already imagined that's maybe 10 feet in front of that person's aura. And just say their name with your mind as you do it, but you're, you know, you're staying present, you're not like jumping into their head. You just say their name in your mind just so they notice the flowers. You could say, here you go, you know, and that's it. You just stay present. And you can just imagine if you want, you know, kind of like you're looking at that person, but you're not staring, you know, just kind of notice you know, if that person is receiving them. Sometimes, you know, they might take a minute to consider it. Sometimes they might receive them, you know, one flower at a time. Sometimes they just scoop them all up at once. But anyway, that's cool. Um, okay, so now um, let's do a couple, if you know a couple uh, that you, so like if you're kids, I have awesome kid viewers. Hi kids. Um, you could do your parents. Um, you could do both your parents at once if you want, or you could do like if at school you have uh, two friends who always hang out together, you, know, you could make healing flowers for, for both of them at once now. Um, 
you know, or, or if you're, you know, you have siblings and two of them like always do everything together, you could, you could give them gifts at once. So, uh, but anyway, so think of who you have in mind and it could just be one person if you want. Uh, but anyway, it could be someone that you now for this example, you could do someone that you get along with, but it's complicated, you know, it could be better, you know, if you want, cause you know, that's like maybe a little bit extra triggering than just the person you totally get along with. So someone that you kind of wish things were a little better with, they're not great. Maybe they were before, whatever. Okay. Yeah. And um, I was just thinking of which person to do. <laughs> um, okay, so now we're gonna make two sets of flowers for that person, right? But imagine that person kind of far off, right? And then imagine where the edge of their aura is, and then imagine like five or 10 feet in front of that, you know? And 10 feet in front of that is probably more respectful than five feet in front, because you don't want it to be like, you want them to take their time if they want, you know, in, in considering your gift. Okay. So now you know the person that you're making these gifts for, right? So go ahead and create energy flowers out of universal healing energy, just with your mind, but I like using my hands too, <laughs> um, that uh, would help this person to fill their inner emptiness. Okay, and just put those aside. And then go ahead and create energy flowers that would help that person have less resistance, you know? So they're non-resistance flowers for that person. All right. And then just put these flowers outside of your aura and say, angels, can you double check these flowers? Cause they are for, and tell your angels who these flowers are for. And again, they may reduce the quantity of the flowers because the idea is this is supposed to be a gentle gift for that person, you know? And maybe if, you know, you haven't talked to that person in 20 years, you know, maybe you should start small. <laughs> but your angels will know all that. Okay, so your angels have had plenty of time to double check those gifts. So now you scoop them up with your hands and then just imagine that respectful distance from that person and just, Put them down and with your mind, say that person's name and just say, here you go. And then you just, you know, stay, stay with your body. You know, don't like hover around that person at all. You know, you don't want to freak them out. And you can just kind of, you know, kind of notice if they're considering them, what they're doing. <laughs> My person, she considered them and at first she was really wary and then she remembered because I have done this before with her and so she, then she then she took them all in like real fast because she, she liked it when it happened before. That's funny. Okay, cool. Um, so now let's do it for somebody. Uh, well, now let's reground just for fun. <laughs> Just because, you know, it's a little triggering to, you know, think of these relationships that aren't perfect, you know? <laughs> and, and there may not be relationships, like, technically. You know, if you don't talk to somebody anymore, you know, and you haven't talked to them in 20 years, is that really a relationship? Well, we're using the more broad definition of a relationship, for sure. <laughs> Which just means, like, somebody that you know that they know you, you know? But, but it's like maybe you don't talk anymore, you know, but still on a spirit level, they could still be throwing energy at you every day and they could really be fixated on punishing you subconsciously. And so what this may do is over time, this may help them to chill out, uh, maybe not about everything in their life, but about you so that they may uh, over time stop fixating on punishing you. Because a lot of times people subconsciously kind of lock into a behavior and they don't realize they're doing it. And so if you keep up with this a little bit, then you, you may find, and again, it's not for sure, but that's good because you don't want to control somebody, you know? So if you're not controlling somebody, if you're, if you're doing this in a very light and angel approved way, then you can't predict what's going to happen, but that's fine. You, you can't control everything in your life, right? Anyway, okay. So let's reground. 
uh, red or orange or yellow grounding. I'm gonna do red, nice and wide, and then do a soak. Bring up the red earth energy up, 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 or orange or yellow, and just soak in that earth energy. Oh, and if you want, um, redo your buffer zones. You know, just make new ones. And if you don't know what those are, gold energy aura buffer zones is the 18 minute video. Okay, so now we're going to, um, oh, I said you could do a couple and then I didn't walk you through it. Sorry about that. Um, so go ahead and imagine two people. Um, let's see. I'm going to pick for myself. Okay, um, all right, and uh, so let's do fill inner emptiness flowers uh, for the first person. Uh, no, for both of them. We'll do the fill your inner emptiness flowers for both of them, and you just put them aside, you know, and then the then we'll do the non-resistance flowers for both of them, and then we'll have the angels double check it all, and then you give it all at once, okay? So fill your inner emptiness flowers, I'm gonna say for person A, okay? And then fill your inner emptiness flowers for person B. And it's just, it just takes an instant for your spirit to do it. So don't overthink it. And then non-resistance flowers for person A. Put them, put them aside, make a pile. And then non-resistance flowers for person B. And then just put them in front of you, outside of your aura. And then just say, angels, can you double check these flowers? Because these flowers are for, and say that person to your angels, and these flowers are for this person. And tell your angels who they're for. <sighs> it's funny because whenever I do this technique to give, you know, these flowers to this couple that I know, um, the angels always reduce the amount. Those people, they're, they're very nice, but they're, they have a million things going on in their lives. And so I think they're just, yeah, it's just funny because I always want to give so much to them because they think they're very special people, but you know, they got a lot going on. <laughs> so anyway, okay. So that was plenty of time for your angels to double check the flowers. So now imagine the respectful distance in front of each of those people's aura. So like 10 feet, maybe five to 10 feet in front of person A's aura, the edge of their aura. So if this is the edge of their aura, then we're talking out here, you know, not like right here at the edge, but if beyond the edge of their aura. Okay, so imagine you can even put like little gold X's where you're going to put the flowers, you know, 10 feet in front of each of those people. And then just go ahead and with your hands, you know, Put the flowers where they need to be and just put say their names so that you know they notice them and then just stay present ah <sighs> breathe deep breath wiggle your toes maybe just so you know you're not hovering and then you can kind of notice <laughs> My people accepted them pretty fast because I've done this before with them. So they're like, oh, more. Thank you so much. This is so nice of you. <laughs> it's cute. Okay. So now we're going to do an example of someone you really, really, really have issues with. Um, and I think it's most useful to do it with somebody who whacks the heck out of you. Like the person who is most throwing energy at you day in, day out. You know, if you find a rip in your aura and as you're healing it, you get this intuition. Oh, I think it's from this person. That's the person I'm talking about. <laughs> I mean, of course I have a, a number of those people, but, um, you know, pick like a real heavy hitter, you know, someone who tends to get pretty deep into your aura, you know, cause that would be a good person to pick for this. Um, and again, you're grounded already, redo your buffer zones just for good luck, but this will typically make that person punish you less, not more. Um, so that's, that's a very good thing. So in addition to this being good karma, because not only are you not reciprocating the punishment, which would be bad karma for you, um, but you're giving them an angel proof gift in a respectful way. So that's like insanely good karma. And there is a likelihood that they will punish you less over time because of this, because they'll get less fixated on you. And so it's such a win-win for you. <laughs> okay, cool. So 
you you know you picked your person you know who is throwing energy at you the most these days um or you know pick a person and then go ahead and you're making energy flowers out of universal healing energy so it could be gold or any rainbow color but it's not your energy uh to help that person fill their inner emptiness and just put those aside in front of your aura and then you're making non-resistance flowers for that person okay so just the right vibrations of universal healing energy either gold and maybe a little rainbow colors in there you don't have to overthink it though just make it with your mind you don't have to see it but non-resistance flowers for that person and then just put that in front of your aura and then just say angels can you please double check these flowers because these are for and tell your angels who they're for And chances are your angels are going to be really proud of you that you're doing this because it's very like evolved to do this kind of thing and smart. <laughs> All right. So that was enough time for your angels to maybe adjust the quantity or make little edits to the, the energy vibration. So now imagine that respectful distance and, you know, you imagine that person at a distance from you and then you imagine the edge of their aura and then you imagine like maybe 10 feet in front of that. So you're, you know, you're nowhere near their aura. You're, you're imagining like maybe right over here or somewhere, you know, at a distance, maybe 10 feet from them. And you can even just make a little X for yourself, a gold X right there. And just take those two bunches of flowers, the fill your inner emptiness flowers and the non-resistance flowers and just lay them down at that spot. And just, you could say their name, you know, here you go, but then just come on back. Just, I mean, you didn't, Hopefully you didn't leave your body and go to that X, but just in case you did, you know, just pat your cheeks, you know, stay here, wiggle your toes, imagine you're grounding. Deep breath. And you know, you can, you know, once you've made sure and kind of recentered yourself, then you can kind of, you know, stay present, but kind of glance over and see if, imagine, you know, or see um, if they received it. It's funny because my person, I've, I've done this, uh, gosh, it's probably like the 40th time I've done this with that person over time. And it has been very, very effective. That person, you know, used to punish me probably like every other hour <laughs> of every day. And now it's more like once a day or twice a day. <laughs> So they, they readily accept it and they're, it seems to help them have a better day and definitely helps them to, you know, kind of ignore me on a spirit level and just move on with their day. So again, a win-win. So, okay, good job. So again, you, when you redo this video, you can do every example as one of those hard people if you want, cause then you'll be more experienced in it. Um, or you can do it just with your friends and, people that you already get along with it helps no matter who you pick um okay so uh let's reground um just imagine you're grounding and you could change the color if you want i'm gonna make mine orange this time changing the color just you know it guarantees that you're recreating it and it's a different vibration so it could help you release more <sighs> All right, and then bring that earth energy up. So like I'm doing orange right now. So I'm bringing up orange earth energy and soaking in it all the way up, 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 up to the top of my aura. So go ahead, soak your body, your muscles, your bones, your energy centers in that color earth energy, your aura. You can think about I can let go, I can relax. And maybe you were a little triggered at the idea of giving to um, those people. So uh, just in case, um, just in case, let's do a quick blanket exercise. So just a big, imagine a big gold blanket out in front of you and just dump onto it any energy blocks that you have that are making you uncomfortable right now. Anything that's making you uncomfortable right now, just imagine dumping that onto the blanket out in front of you. And then just bring up red earth energy and soak 
whatever's on the blanket with the red earth energy and use gold light and just melt away whatever's on the blanket. Just melt it away. Just relax. Just let it melt. <sighs> and it may have all cleared. If it didn't, just ask your angels for help. Angels, can you finish helping me clear that away? And you can give them the blanket. <laughs> All right, so let's end with um, an angel blessing and healing, which is how we ended the healing uh, in the triplet set. So, uh, oh, and let's redo our gold buffer zones too, uh, because you probably will receive less punishment after healing somebody, but it doesn't mean that they're like miraculously a different person. You know, there, there will be a Likely, there'll be more of a gradual decline in how often they get locked in resistance and start throwing energy at you subconsciously. So you still need to be safe. So go ahead and recreate your buffer zones. And again, that's a video gold energy or buffer zones. And then go ahead and ask your angels for a blessing and a healing. Just with your mind, angels, can you please give me a blessing and a healing? nice and uh your healing uh may go on for several minutes uh your angels will know how much you need so um congratulations you did something pretty cool you uh you healed uh different people in your life in a very safe and very respectful way uh with uh dual flower healing two different types of flower healing um for the other person and you also healed yourself throughout the video so great job and i'm i'm very excited to hear your feedback about this i would prefer to get the feedback um posted under the video because that it helps the video it helps youtube to suggest it to more people so um you have total free will and i honor that so if you don't feel like commenting that's cool if you don't feel like giving it a thumbs up that's cool too um but if you do want to that's cool too. <laughs> okay, bye.